Ignition sequence starts. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody, this is the Digital Asset Investor and I got a really, really slow start going with getting this video out today. In fact, the the family um, just went for family photos and I, I told, I told, I've been lobbying for this for years and my wife finally agreed to it. Nor, she, she used to make us all go into a family photo every like October or whatever. And I, I, the last few years, maybe because I'm getting older, I'm like, why the only ones that we send out as a Christmas card and all that is just the kids so why do we have to all go do it so I finally said why do I have to keep I hate taking photos why do I have to keep taking photos over and over so she finally agreed and now the kids do the family the do the photo because that's the one we put out for Christmas the kids do it that's what makes sense I hate taking photos. I mean, golly, can't be the only one out there listening to me. So check this out. Another glitch. I know you're not allowed to talk about these. We have another glitch this time. XRP glitched to $1,919 on CoinMarketCap. Maybe the crypto police are, are... are taking a nap on this Sunday and maybe they won't get upset but you're really not allowed to show these type of things I want to show you a couple of videos with this guy right here he's the um, uh, Hong Kong monetary authority guy and then I'm gonna remind you of who he is what happened to crypto world in 2022 it really plunged from a DeFi summer into a crypto winter and then subsequently there were lots of debate about whether that would the the, the glide path whether it would get into a a crypto spring or an ice age. Um, The recent incident seems to be pushing it further into springtime rather than ice age in terms of crypto world, judging from the valuation of some of the assets that we've seen. But nonetheless, um, having seen what we have seen, um, indeed, I can come to two possible sort of um, very conjectural, I have to say, um, conclusions. One is if the crypto winter didn't kill it, probably it is there to stay for longer than we originally expected. And secondly, you already mentioned regulation. Probably we have to start thinking about how can we at least put some of the crypto activities that we think are of greater economic value into the realms of regulation. Then he's on with the European Central Bank and Onyx by JP Morgan. Then here's another clip, same guy, listen to this. Topics that we have picked for this session. Uh, The topic was described as banking after crypto crypto shock. Um, For a while, I thought about having to change it around crypto after banking shock um, to be more reflective of the latest um, situation. But nonetheless, regardless of which comes first, um, the topic actually signifies the fact that uh, perhaps the traditional financial system and the crypto world are probably already linked together in some shapes or form, probably more so than we sort of uh, expect, uh, judging from the incidents that we have seen in the past few weeks in particular. So. I was looking at that guy and I was like, well, he sure looks familiar. And I think it's the same guy. Remember, this was, I think, back in 2019 when Brad Garlinghouse was in Switzerland. And it may be a different guy, but it, it looks like a younger version of him right here. There's Brad Garlinghouse. This is when Brad Garlinghouse was in Switzerland. There's the head of the BIS. There's Christine Lagarde. Small world, huh? And then I saw this, which is not true. This guy says the only person who might have known who Satoshi was. Well, no, that's not correct. Because Wheezy found a video where the uh, Homeland Security agent said that they met with the four Satoshis back early back in the day. Okay? 
So this is a farce. This is not true. The question is, why does all of crypto want to pretend like it, it like this Satoshi is unknown when they all know that the Satoshi is known? That's the question. I agree with Ido Farina here. Many people don't want to say this, but I don't care. I have enough courage to say it loud and clear. It's time to shift the focus from Ethereum and Bitcoin to XRP and XLM, the only two that work. Don't say I didn't warn you. Mainstream media won't tell you the truth. I agree. He's a thousand percent right. And so is Brad Garlinghouse. This is what Bloomberg put this out. This is in reference to the other day when um, Brad Garlinghouse was on stage and he said something about how he would like to see the odds on uh, odds on, on what would happen if the SEC Ripple thing went to the Supreme Court. And uh, I think he's basically daring Gary Gensler to take it to the Supreme Court because he knows that he'll lose. And who knows? Now, I had to show you this because this is about as creepy as it gets. I want to make sure several times, not one time, but I want to make sure you all understand that do not scan that barcode right there. It's a scam. This is a thousand percent scam. They will steal your XRP. Don't do it. What this is that I'm showing you, and I think it's important for me to show you and really explain what this, this, it, what this is. This is how scary our world's about to get. This is a, an AI-generated Brad Garlinghouse. This is not the real Brad Garlinghouse talking, but it's so creepy because it sounds just like him. And this is the world we're going into. I repeat, this is a scam. This is not the real Brad Garlinghouse saying this. This is a deep fake. That Do not scan that barcode. It is fake, and they will steal your money. But I want you to hear what this deep fake of how... This is how scary the world we're entering is. Send a minimum of 1,000 XRP and a maximum of 500,000 XRP to the address listed on the website. Within less than a minute, you will receive back double the XRP that you sent to the same wallet you sent from. This giveaway is our way of giving back to the community that has stood by us, believed in our vision, and held XRP through thick and thin. We are here because of you and we want to ensure that you share in our success. As we continue to unlock new potentials and reach new frontiers, we are more committed than ever to fostering a community where everyone thrives. Thank you for being a part of this journey, and here's to many more milestones together. I want to say it a third time to make sure you all get it. What you just watched was a, was a deep fake. It's a it's a scam. Scammers put this together. That is not Brad Garlinghouse talking. Do not scan that code. Do not send your XRP to that code because they're going to steal your XRP. It's a total scam. But it's it's so scary how, how convincing it is and how real it looks that I wanted to make you aware of that. Now you know. Uh, breaking news. Michael Saylor foresees a tenfold increase in Bitcoin value within the next 12 months. That's a price of $789,000 by my maths. <laughs> oh, God. Now, let me tell you what I think is, is about to happen. And I can't, I can't say this on YouTube or they will, they will give me a strike. That's how sick the world that we live in now, now is. That's why I created my uh, private group at DAIXRP.com. But let me tell you what's coming. This... This is how I think they're going to bring in this new financial system. I think they're going to fake one of these. And the reason I think that is because all you got to do is look at the, the people that have been in power and what they say. Here's Rahm Emanuel. I've shown you this one before. You never want a serious crisis to go to waste. And what I mean by that is an opportunity to do things that you think you could not do before. Well, I think that that little quote right there, I think what he really is saying is always create a crisis and then never let that crisis go to waste. That's what I think. That's how sick and how, how evil I think this country has gotten. And then you know that woman right here. We, can't, we, talk, we, we can talk about her in the group, but not out here. She said uh, this would be a terrible crisis to waste. And that was re regarding her 
push for universal health care. And then, of course, Dr. Evil. We can't say his name out here. Um, the pandemic represents a rare but narrow window of opportunity to reflect, reimagine, and reset our world to create a healthier, more equitable, and more prosperous future. We'll talk about this a little more in the group, going into the group right now. Um, I found a clip, a recent clip, where I think that it's quite possible that Gary is threatening going after Ethereum, okay? I'm gonna show that in the group. Then I'm gonna go over the fact that I believe, this is what I believe, and I'm gonna show you a clip that ties it all together. I think that SBF was an intelligence asset. I don't think, I don't, I think FTX was set up for a lot of reasons. We're gonna talk about that in the group. So go in daixrp.com. I mean, I'm I'm trying I'm covering a lot of stuff, and in, in fact, I just saw I won't say any names because uh, I'll keep that private. But I just saw a major figure in all in the whole, whole crypto space is actually in the group now. So this is kind of getting pretty cool in there. So be sure and check it out, daixrp.com. I'm the digital asset investor. I'm not an investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe, hit the like button, and tell your friends and family that we are now going off into the members.